All right, this is Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 17. And in this lesson, we are beginning to really focus on the equal sign because we're going to transition into uh, letting students learn that addition is commutative. And we're going to talk about uh, students eventually are going to be learning the idea that the order of the two numbers being added uh, does not change the answer, does not change the sum. And I said the order of two numbers being added. Of course, we could add more than that, but at this point, we're just talking about two numbers, and that ultimately students are going to learn, not in this lesson quite, uh, but they're going to learn that addition is commutative. But right now, we're just focusing on the fact that um, two number expressions can be equivalent to one another. Let's take a look at that. So one example might be you might have students working in pairs and you might show one student, tell one student to build, grabbing some multi-link cubes and uh, build a, a, a series of rods, like a rod train, let's call it. And it might say, okay, well, let's take three blues and two reds. Okay, so that's partner A. And then partner B is going to use uh, cubes to build a, a cube train that has four blues and one red and then say okay what do you guys notice well students are going to notice hey, it's they're the same they're the same length they're both five ah but what's different well what's different is here we have here we have three blues and two reds while here we have four blues and one red aha so you as the teacher can say well three plus two what does that mean well that means three blues and two reds. And what would we write over here? Well, we would write four plus one. And then the idea would be, okay, how are these two uh, related? Ah, they are equal. Uh, so we could say they are equivalent. And right now, we're trying to show students that the equal sign doesn't always mean get the answer. Uh, it might say that this side is balanced or the same size or the same amount as this side over here. Now, ultimately, we could say that this is equal to 5 cubes and this is equal to 5 cubes, and then our students are going to see that that's equal as well. All right, I put this problem in the video because, to be honest, uh, it tricked me, and it took me a little long to figure out because when I looked up here at the example... It looked like, to me, I was supposed to connect half of one domino to the half of another domino. And it just wasn't working for me, and I couldn't figure it out. So I kind of peeked at the answers, and then I learned, oh, now I understand what it is they're looking for. So really what they're doing is they're saying, we want the entire domino on the left to be matched with an entire domino on the right. For example... This is a 6 and this is a 3 for a total of 9. And we see that here is a 0 and a 9 for a total of 9. And so we are going to match these two dominoes. And because this is 6 plus 3 and this is 0 plus 9, we can write down 6 plus 3 equals 0 plus 9. All right, and so let's take a look. Uh, I'll do it in red. So this is a four and this is a four. So that gives us eight. It's a nice little practice to practice our adding within 10. And I could see that this is a five and this is a three. Ah, so there's eight and eight. So what would we write? We would write four plus four is equal to five plus three. Uh, teachers and parents remember the commutative property. So even though students don't know the commutative property yet, if they want to write 3 plus 6, that's okay. And if they want to write 9 plus 0, that's also okay. And the last problem in this video is really, this is just more of the same, although I found the hearts question easier than the dominoes question. The idea is, well, let's, let's find the numerical expressions that match, that are true. All right, that make true uh, equations, uh, equal expressions. So I could see, let's see, 5 plus 2, I'm going to use my little count on method. 5, 6, 7, so this is 7, 
And then on this one, I'm going to say 8, 9, 10. So that's a 10. And then right here, I'm going to say 4. And then I'm going to say 5, 6, 7. So that answer is a 7. And then lastly, I'm going to start with a 7 and say 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So now I can see that the 7 and 7 is a match and the 10 and 10 is a match. So what would we write? Well, we would write 5 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 3. And then we would write 8 plus 2 is equal to 7 plus 3. And that wraps up Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 17, where we're beginning to really focus on that equal sign. Ultimately, we're going to be understanding the commutative property.